I just woke up and I'm about to do my skincare routine so I thought I would share with you guys what I do every morning and to take care of my skin and it's really important to take care of your skin because that is the canvas for your makeup like for me I wear makeup almost every day I have a very sensitive skin and I do believe that everyone's skin is different so this is what I've been using and I've been so comfortable by the way I look like shit right now the first thing that I do is tie my hair up because I have such a long hair but I normally have my hair up anyway like when I'm sleeping so this is after I trim my hair Ooh. Done. This is my current skin condition as you can see. It is smooth, but I do have texture um, on my forehead and then I do have pores that are like bigger than a cereal bowl and um, I do have white heads, but you can't really tell on camera. I do have dark circles around my eyes, but I could just cover it up with um, conceal. The first thing I do is I would cleanse my face with this uh, First Aid Beauty face cleanser. So this face cleanser comes with antioxidant booster. It helps with my dullness of the skin and it helps with um, the brightness of my skin. So I just want something that just brightens up my dullness. And then it also helps remove oil and excess makeup that I may have not removed properly last night. And I love it because it's safe for sensitive skin. It says on the bottle right here, on the tube. You want to massage gently to your skin. I like using cold water in the morning. That's when your skin is the most like needing of like hydration. It feels so rejuvenated and like ready to start the day. Oh my gosh, I already feel a hundred times better. My skin feels so soft every time after I wash my face. Ah, I just feel so good right now. So next, I am using the Facial Radiance Pad. Um, it helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten um, my face. So I got this from Sephora. You know how they sell those like boxes of um, sample size products? For me, my skin again is so sensitive so I have to try products and I don't want to like jump into um, a large amount of products when I don't really know how my skin will react to it. So with two Radiance Pad, I just wanna... And not to forget your neck as well. Whatever your face needs, your neck needs it more. See, I can already see the dirt on my face. Although I just washed it. So I'm also using the Face uh, Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. And for me personally, I like using just one brand for all my skincare because I feel like it complements each product um, together. And my sisters have been using it, my husband has been using it, and they all are like, oh my god, what is that? I really like it. So it works for almost any uh, sensitive skin. But if you have dry skin, I highly recommend this product because it does help with mine. I recently went to London and it was really cold, freezing cold. I had so much fun, but my skin was crazy dry. If I didn't have this moisturizer with me, I don't know how my makeup would react. I don't know how like my skin would seriously stay hydrated. I really believe in this product when it says intense hydration it just gives you that really nice moisturizer um, formula on your face that doesn't really oil you up because I want to look glowy and hydrated but I don't want to look oily throughout the day I'm also using this daily reviving oil by Kiehl's and it smells like citrusy oh my god it smells so good my most dry areas is um, on my cheeks so I concentrate the oil on my super dry areas and surprisingly this oil dries dry if that makes sense um, it's not like those oily oil that just sits on your face and just slide everywhere throughout the day but this one if you pat in your face it dries off but it still has like that hydration that you need. And voila! Yes, through hydration, we are well hydrated. So we're not done just yet. I'm about to exfoliate my lips. And this is my favorite lip exfoliator. This one is by Glam Glow. This is how the exfoliator looks like. What I do is I'm just gonna damp my lips with a little bit of water. I have super dry lips. It's kind of gross sometimes. I'm gonna grab a little bit.
Wipe it up. Last but not least, I'm gonna put this ultra nourishing um, lip balm by NYX. Nuxy? Nyx? But everything will be linked down below. This was recommended by one of my followers and when I was in Europe, um, she told me to get this lip balm because my lips were so dry. She was like, you have to try this brand. And I got it and I'm in love with it ever since. After you scrub off all the moisture um, off your lips, you have to put back the moisture. Super nourishing and it doesn't smell weird. It doesn't have a weird consistency. It just sits on your lips so beautifully. This stuff is so good. I love it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go shower and then I'm gonna go get ready for my day. Many hours later. Okay, so now that we are done with my makeup, I'm just gonna let go of my hair. <laughs> So for today's lips, I'm using the Velvet Cream by Brina Beauty in the color Coco Latte. Coco Latte. Okay guys, that is all for today and I hope you enjoyed my skincare routine. What works for me, it may not work for you, so my advice is just go along the way and see what your skin needs, see what suits your skin, and don't be afraid to try out other things because it took me a while to see what really suits my skin, what my skin needs. If you did enjoy that video, please give this video a thumbs up, like, and leave a comment on what you want to see in the future. And I love you guys so much. My hair is crazy looking. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Wow. Really? Hmm. Oh, it tastes like toothpaste.